We are starting this program on uh, Women's Day function for a week. Uh, so we are meeting eminent people uh, in different different areas like our academicians and everything. So uh, today we have with a special guest, Professor M. Tain Mori. She is a HOD of uh, uh, IIT Madras Management Studies, and she helped a lot of uh, under her. I mean, uh, so many awards and so many uh, prizes she has won. So there are a lot of interesting questions towards her to ask. Uh, welcome, ma'am. Ma'am, uh, first, uh, uh, when you heard that uh, mm. you are being top 100 uh, mm. uh, women in uh, finance mm. in India, mm. so how did you feel, ma'am? Uh, it was a very uh, interesting experience, I should say. But it also showed that, I mean, okay, if there's some recognition is coming up with what you have done. Yeah. And it also shows that if we keep trying, I think we can also achieve. Correct. Correct. Uh, so once uh, we have, I mean, once we came to know that there is an award that's being given um, for the contributions, and I felt really very happy that I have come to this stage over a period of time. Yeah, okay. and I think it's twice you have won that. Yeah, in 2019 also I was uh, selected as one of the top one. 2020 also then. Okay. In 2020, in the guiding category, I'm in the top six also. And uh, tell us our experience on drafting this uh, mm. um, manufacturing policy. And you have won a national award uh, mm. uh, from former Prime Minister Atal Bihari Vajpayee. Mm. So, how was the, that experience? How you, I mean, uh, you are part of the drafting policy or how it is? Now? Actually, uh, the time Federation of Indian Chambers of Commerce, along with the We Think of India, they invited us to prepare the manufacturing policy for India. At that time we didn't have a manufacturing policy. So we started uh, developing uh, the policy for the country at that time. So then we did a detailed industry analysis of all the manufacturing sectors. Okay. And I think we spent about nearly about three months in trying to develop the whole policy. And uh, ours was the one of the top three drafts which was recognized. And uh, there was a function where uh, the former uh, Mr. Haki Atal Bihari Vajpayee gave a prize in his residence. There was a function and then he gave the award. Oh, but of course, the most important thing was the, the jury who had uh, all the key experts and then in the, in the country were all there in the jury and they had gone through it and then they came and spoke to me and then said it was really very good uh, report, very detailed and in the How analysis. many people were there overall? In Actually about 161 people had uh, come up with the policy proposal initially, then later on they shortlisted uh, a few of them and then finally in the last uh, about 12 and then the top three were chosen then. Uh, see I am basically a faculty in the area of finance. I teach uh, about various financial policies in the class mm -hmm. and sometimes we criticize uh, policies but then I really understood that preparing uh, developing a policy is not easy. Mm -hmm. uh, you need to have a thorough understanding of what mm -hmm. is happening, what is stage, what is required mm -hmm. and uh, it is a really very challenging task also but I really felt very happy that at the end we could come up with develop something which is useful for the country. Yeah, that's great. Uh, since you talk about the academics part of yours, uh, when I was going through your profile, it was a uh, topic which you are specialized in, the mm. dynamics of family business. So, these kind of topics which is, since you hail from uh, Nagaratar community, mm. so it's automatically in your blood or you are chosen towards that? Oh, I was thinking that, see, family business is something is unique for our country itself. And of course, our Nagaratas, we are also known where a lot of family businesses are in existence. So I developed some interest to understand how things are happening, what we have, how they are doing things, mm -hmm. and uh, what is the pattern in terms of whether it is trade or business, in terms of governance. So I started exploring all these uh, dynam aspects. And uh, there I, I did find some interesting things which will be useful for them also later on. Yeah, 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 correct. So I'm the... You're uh, you are uh, specialized in finance mm. and uh, you talk about numbers, you talk about uh, stock market, mm. so everything towards the numbers only. Mm. Uh, since uh, I heard that Nagaratas are good in numbers, so that is the reason you have chosen this as a 
ऑप्शन as okay. my option so and then I your it. graduation is from commerce and yeah it's, it's a bcom it is my bcom then mcom then i did mphil and then phd at commerce so, uh, i think you have won uh, n number of awards mm-hmm. uh, if i list out i think the interview session will be mm-hmm. over by that time so mm-hmm. there are uh, a lot of awards you have received uh, prizes and mm-hmm. everything so which is your uh, mm-hmm. favorite prize you would say i mean or award whatever name it see several awards have been coming throughout my career but i think most important the first thing which i was very excited about is when i got the best innovation in teaching award where i just came up with the different approaches of teaching okay. and uh, i think that gave me a lot of satisfaction and uh, uh, fulfillment also i should say Uh, few uh, uh. brief about what is the innovation that no, uh, see at uh, that time we came up with the, now it is quite common that we using all the internet and online okay. uh, teaching yeah. methodology so at that point in time i developed uh, online content okay. which can also be integrated for the teaching part of so this might be in the year of Um, oh. I think it was in 2000. Yeah, so that, those days, <laughs> those days it was just really about yeah. yeah. It is not that very common. Correct. So I just came up with the methodology by which I can integrate that also for the classroom teaching, and then came up with practical case studies and hands-on sessions at that. Mm-hmm. So that helped me to also uh, try to see that I can uh, teach the course well. So I tried it, I experimented it, and I think it uh, it also got an award. I think uh, it was in uh, the Association of Indian Management Schools. We were trying to look in terms of what is innovation teaching, and they gave me the award for this. Oh, that's nice. Ma'am, uh, since we are celebrating this Women Festival, I mean International Women Day, so give us some tips for the young ladies nowadays to how to uh, fulfill their dreams in academia or how to excel their academic in their. academic field mm. or maybe if they want to choose as a teaching as a mm. their career mm. so just some tips if you could give us now the opportunities are plenty compared to before i think the opportunity open and then now the youngsters also have lot of awareness yeah. so first thing is i think we need to equip ourselves <laughs> I think uh, they need to study and then take up to a lot of the higher uh, level courses. Apart from a post graduation, I think if they are looking at teaching, they may have to look at in terms of a PhD. They can try for the UGC JR fellowship, which gives you funding also for the purpose of doing the research. Huh? Yeah. So then they can pursue that and then so they pick up there. So if they want to pursue uh, mm. uh, academic as a career, mm. so there are few mandatory things nowadays they mm. have implemented that PhD is mm. it's, a, it's a compulsory mm. for. Mm. any uh, government or mm. government institutions mm. so how do you take that mama i mean uh, that will help the academic part as well right see one thing i'll say to fulfill if i look back i think it is a research which has made me what i am correct yeah. doing research uh, trains us to look at things in a different way we try to understand what is the issue or the problem i think the moment you have a clear clarity in terms of what the issue is then finding out a solution becomes easier i yeah. think uh, phd actually trains us uh, in this process of thinking and once then it becomes part of you also yeah, yeah. and uh, i th- i think uh, for a teacher a research is something is pa- is an integral part of them yeah. it that is the it is research which helps them to become what they are and a better teacher also yeah. uh, ma'am since we are going to celebrate in uh, uh, maybe in another uh, 8th of march mm. is the international women day festival so which is your favorite uh, celebration you had mm. till now for a women's mm. uh, international women's day uh, see as a woman i feel that every day is a good that's, day that's it's the best so. day <laughs> and i always feel that uh, even now i always ask uh, wish others is that we make the day is a wonderful day so it is all in our hands so every day is our own day and we can make the day 
in which the way in which we wanted to be also mm. here. Right? Uh, do you celebrate in your institute or Women's Day? Yeah, we have, we do, yes, we do have some celebrations. We try to all meet and have some, um, sometimes we have some interactions, discussions and activities have been there in the, in the institute also. We do that. Uh, and one last question. The freedom of expression. Yeah. Uh, how do you see this freedom of expression? Uh, it's more in academics or it's more in corporate? I think in this profession, the most important advantage that you have is uh, nobody can try to change the way that what you want to do or teach. So in the, coming in the class, it's all, everything is in my hands as to how I want to, to teach and how I want to do it. So that way you have so much of independence and freedom in this profession. Yeah. And uh, I think uh, that you will not be getting it in a corporate sector because you are definitely always dependent on somebody else for everything. Either uh, somebody yeah. will manage mm -hmm. us or yeah. profit. Or we, I mean, we cannot work as any single individual also because whatever the outcome you have dependent on others. But here also we may have to look at collaborations and uh, this is also required. But most part of it because uh, sharing your knowledge and then uh, developing the skill set. I think uh, this profession gives you a lot of freedom and independence and that gives us a lot of satisfaction also. We're able to, when we see that the students have understood and then they've learnt it and they're applying and later on they go and apply in the organization or in the workspace. I think, uh, and we see them growing. Yeah. I think uh, that's a great satisfaction that they get. Actually, we have a lot of questions, but since we yeah. have very few uh, time of yours, so we wish you for this International Women Day yeah. Uh, it's coming on March 8th. Mm. So we wish you all the best and more awards and more records to you. And uh, we are expecting that uh, you write more uh, uh, papers and uh, yeah. what is it, uh, the academic part of it. So thank you. I wish all the viewers a very happy Women's Day and a happy day every day. And as women, I would like to always say that yes, I think if you aspire and if you want to achieve something I'm sure that every anyone can achieve it. Okay. So the only thing is we have to plan and work for it and uh, nowadays the opportunities are more and uh, I would also like to add being a woman uh, there will be problems when we want to do something but what is more important is you just handle the problem and then keep moving forward. I think that's what makes us what we are. The hindrance is always there. It will be there. Nobody would have uh, come up with a clean yeah. without any hindrance. Yeah. But what is important is we must know how to handle it and get over it and yeah. then start moving forward. The uh, joy of achievement will come uh, uh -huh. if there is a hindrance. So otherwise it, it will be an easy <laughs> task. So nowadays if there are no problems, I get worried. When <laughs> I think everything is going on smoothly, why is it so? Uh, maybe So when something comes in, okay, just face it, handle it and then keep okay, moving. Okay. Come I think that's what makes uh, us enjoy what we are doing also and achieve. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you for your time. Mm. Uh, thank, thank you. Thank you. And uh, we will see uh, a few more uh, people also. Thanks a lot.